Kia everyone. Um, we know that Christmas is a very busy time of year for most of us, uh, whether you're planning gatherings, um, attending functions, or baking treats. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way that you can make digital Christmas cards or any type of holiday card um, to send out to people on social media or email. Um, you know, handmade or written cards are great, of course, but if you're finding yourself short on time or you want to deliver them to people, you know, overseas in an easy way, um, then this tutorial is for you if you've never done this before. We're going to use a, a really simple and free website called Canva to do this. And Canva is great because it's got a huge range of different types of things you can create on it, but we're going to focus on the cards today. And before we get started, please let us know if you a enjoyed this tutorial um, or b have any other ideas for things you would like to learn, whether it's a creative type thing like this um, or something maybe a, a little bit more tied to productivity. Um, we would love to create more tutorials uh, from the library for you about how to do different things online. So we'll get started here. Um, starting from your web browser, you can either go into the Google search or up top. The website we're going to is called Canva, like Canvas without the S, C-A-N-V-A dot com. And you will need to go ahead and create an account to start using it. Again, that is free. Um, you can go up here in the top right or here in the blue sorry, purple button that says sign up for free. Now they give you a couple of options of how you can connect it to another um, um, or your email address. Um, I would probably recommend just sticking with signing up with your email address here. And you'll want to put your email in to this box here. Now, just like with um, logging into other types of accounts um, or signing up for a new account these days, it often does make you do a step like this where they've got to um, check your email address is valid. So let's just take a moment to do that. All right, so I've gotten my code and entered that. I just skipped over the actual going into my email part, but what you'll do is, is go to the email that you put in. There'll be a five or six digit code that you'll just copy and paste into the field there. Um, so that you can move on to the next step, having your email verified. Now, when you Canva, you will quickly realize that there are perhaps hundreds, if not thousands, of different um, things that you can create. Um, there's a lot of different, uh, you know, widgets and tools to make things for social media, make posters, design logos, flyers, all kinds of things. So, if you think that this might be helpful for any other um, work or maybe volunteering that you do, you want to publish a newsletter, things like that. There's tons of cool um, opportunities in here with graphics and design already built in. Um, so it's a really handy platform. We'll start today, as I said, with the cards. Now, if you go up here to the search bar, um, we'll just type in Christmas and it should come up fairly quickly. Christmas card. And we'll just search for it. Now you can already see in the results um, all these different templates that come up using stock photos, of course. Some of them don't have photos at all, um, but there's many, many different types to choose from. Um, or you can come here to this uh, box and create a blank one from scratch. Um, now, as I said, it doesn't have to be Christmas. If you wanted to um, change this to something else, they've got a range of different uh, options. Of course, you can get something that's just holiday photo card. Um, I believe they've even got Hanukkah cards um, that you can change to. You can do New Year's, um, birthday, all different types of themes. Um, so it is quite a, a broad 
inclusive tool that we've got here. Let's go back to Christmas. And I've just retyped in Christmas card here because I wasn't seeing the blank template anymore. Um, you may decide that you immediately like one of these options here. Um, I actually quite like this one here. Um, this one, however, you will see has a dollar sign um, in the corner. Um, you might also see these crowns um, come up in the corner um, and some of them don't have that at all. What that means is Canva, while being a free site to use in general, uh, does have that extra premium subscription level that does cost money. Um, and even if you don't sign up for that, some particular elements actually within the card uh, you would have to pay for. So do watch out for that. Um, I was going to go for that one until I saw that. So we will choose one that... I'm looking for one that's just got one photo in it. This one looks good. Now, as soon as you open either the, the blank card or one of these templates, you will come into this sort of workstation. Um, don't get too uh, nervous about all the different panels and toolbars and different things that you can use. Um, as we go through, you'll see that a lot of it is actually quite simple. Um, but here to the right, you've got um, the sort of working progress of your card. Um, and then you've got your design tools here on the left. The other thing you probably want to go ahead and have set up before you actually get started on your card is knowing which photo you want to use um, and having that somewhere um, in an easy place to find it. You may need to um, open a new tab and go to perhaps your Google Photos um, or your Apple iCloud, um, uh, or if you're using this on your phone, those should come up automatically when you go to upload a photo. Um, otherwise, if you're on a computer, uh, you may just want to go ahead and, and save something to your downloads or know where it's stored um, in, your, uh, in your pictures folder or your photos folder of your computer. The first thing you'll probably want to edit when you're using a pre-made template like this, aside from the, the stock photo <laughs> that's already in there, um, as you can see down here in the corner, we've got um, with love the Wilsons. So you'll want to change that out for your family name or for your own name. Um, as you hover over each element inside the card design, you'll see this rectangle come out around it. And that's how you know which uh, section of it you're about to edit. So if you go inside this box, you may need to click a couple of times. You can um, see where the cursor ends up, and that's how you can start editing your text. This card is going to be from my cat, so I would love Bonnie. And we'll leave that for now. There's probably other things you'll want to change about the text, such as its size, color. Um, a lot of those tools are quite similar to what you would see in like Microsoft Office or other programs. You'll have a little ribbon toolbar at the top that lets you change the size of the text, the color, and there's some really cool um, tools of what to do there. But first, I'm going to go ahead and change my photo out as well. And the way you do on the uploads panel on the left, you'll see upload files. Um, if you've used this before, you'll probably already have some photos down here um, that you can use. Otherwise, you will need to click this button. And that will open up your computer file storage where you may have some photos saved. Um, I'm just going to close that. But you are probably familiar with using that before. And you can uh, double click on any file to open it up and load it here. It will come here first, so it won't go straight into the card. What you'll need to do is click on the photo again, and it will show up here as well. The thing that can be a bit tricky is getting it to look, depending on the photo itself, getting it to look just like it does in the stock photo on the card. It might not be the same shape or size um, or resolution to, to be able to be made that big. But the good thing is you can just work it out the way you would like to based on how everything fits together. I'm just going to um, 
highlight this photo and I'm simply going to press the delete button on my keyboard but you'll see there's a little rubbish bin that comes up here in this toolbar as well to remove that one and now you can click and drag your photo that you have added and arrange it anywhere you'd like in the card um, in this case I'll also need to make it bigger now after you've dragged to your photo and let go you'll see um, dots appear in the corners and you're going to click and drag those again similar to how it works in Microsoft and other programs to make your photo larger and it's up to you how big you'd like it to go and the arrangement um, Canva has some cool uh, features that come in to help you with the alignment so you can see as I move it left I get this line down the middle and that's actually showing me that it's in the middle of the design if I go up and down another one comes in uh, at the perpendicular angle to show me it's in the middle on that plane as well so that's nice and centered I probably just want to move some of my text around to make it a bit easier to read and just experiment with where it goes I actually quite like the way it is there now This text, however, needs to be much larger to really see it. So once I have my text toolbar at the top, you can click inside and choose a number, or you might find it easier to just press the plus button to increase it until it's a size that you're happy with. Drag it into place. Might make it a bit smaller. You can also change the color of the text by clicking where you see the color underneath the A there. One of the really cool features in Canva is it can extract the colors from the photo itself. So if you really want things to um, match what's in the photo, it really depends on your design if it's, if it's going to work. But you can experiment with, with those types of things or just with choosing another color that you think works well. I'm actually going to change the background as well and see if that helps. So click anywhere in the space around the photo and you'll see a color square come up here and you can change the background as well and that might help in making aspects of it a little bit easier to see. Kind of like probably just a soft gray in the background. And again, just play around with where you think the alignment works best. It might actually end up being something completely different than what you started with in the template, and that's okay. It is more than okay. So you can really put your own spin on it. And just moving things around, making them smaller or bigger until you're happy. Nothing's overlapping too much. Now, I'm quite happy with that for now, but I think there's quite a lot more I could do with this design. So, right above uploads, you'll see there's another tool on the side called and the um, elements tab on the side, you can find um, a lot of other different things that you might like to add. Now I've clicked on the elements tab and you can search anything you want here. I'm going to search for a paw print because I'd like to include something that looks like Bonnie sort of inked it with her paw as a bit of a signature. Um, you can see graphics comes up. This one's free to use because there's no crown or dollar sign next to it. And again, I'm just going to drag it into position. Maybe change the color. Or just leave it as is. And when you have finished your design, it's going to show you here there's a share button in the top right. And the easiest thing to do is press download. Download it as a PNG or a JPEG, and that will save it to your computer.